on behalf of the club to say a few thank yous. The decision to rebuild the clubhouse, the conversation started at least 10 years ago. And here we are 10 years on, finally doing it. And if you go to the club, you'll see most of it's been flattened. But that's sort of good news because we might expect that we would build it, but we don't have enough money to do it. We are at least £100,000 short. But I'm, I'm pleased some of the guys on our table have volunteered to pay for that £100,000. <laughs> the, the project's been done in three phases. Um, the first phase is about £700,000 and then there's a, a little bit in between, and then there's another £700,000 to find. That's a, that's a lot of money. Um, we wouldn't even be starting this, but for the amazing generosity of Costains and Kelpray, who over the past few years have been putting money into a development pot to get us going. And we've got John Price and Stephen Wells here of, of Kelpray and Costain. And I just want to say, guys, we are so, so appreciative of, of what you've done to help us get this going. Some clubs have sugar daddies. Guildford Rugby Club doesn't. Uh, we're a, an entirely amateur club. We're very happy with that, and that is, of course, unless the sugar daddy comes forward. <laughs> in which case, we'll be very happy to take their money. But you know what? This isn't really the point. Because although you may have a great building and great facilities, it isn't anything without the players and the members. And we have in Guildford Rugby Club a really, really great club. And it's not only great at the first 15 level, it's absolutely unbelievable at micro and mini and youth sections and the gazelles and everybody else. And for me, the most important part of rebuilding the clubhouse is that this is the first occasion for a long, long time when the whole club has come together, every age group, every part of the club, to find a way of raising a few pounds, even if it's just cleaning grandma's car. And for me, if we're still short of money, we'll just have another word with Paul and he'll give us some more. <laughs> so it's a great opportunity for me for the club to be reborn. And we've got some great ideas. We have some great people, full of enthusiasm an unbelievable army of volunteers and we should be all incredibly proud of them and for those of you who are not members and you've come here to give your money to us thank you very much indeed ladies and gentlemen thank you very much indeed um, I realise probably a good number of you have forgotten who I am since the heads and tails which took place several days ago. Um, it is a pleasure now to be able to stand in front of you and uh, give a little bit of a speech and then do the auction to raise more money for this magnificent club. And I've been sat at table five uh, listening to your chairman tell me all about his plans for the future, to tell me about what's happened in the past, 
He's telling me what's happening right now. He's telling me what happened just before what happened right now. He's telling me what's happening in the near future, the medium term future, and the long term future. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute pleasure to be stood here away from basically Gilbert Rugby Club's horoscope. <laughs> On an event like today in this magnificent hall, and I'll be conducting an auction later, an auction was held in here last night, which was phenomenally successful. Every single painting that was on the walls <laughs> was sold and we're just so sorry they were not able to replace it because I feel that when you are at a sports park that embraces sport there is nothing quite like being in a room surrounded by everything that just shouts out sport. <laughs> Look at this place. It is magnificent. So, ladies and gentlemen, who am I? Uh, this is for Vicky's uh, benefit. I played rugby for England many years ago, and you might expect, maybe, at such a prestigious event, to have someone speaking to you tonight who has captained their country. Sorry. Someone maybe who has won a World Cup with their country. Nope. Would it be asking too much to have someone who has scored a try? <laughs> Yes, indeed, it would. <laughs> so I was interested to hear that currently your under-12s are doing remarkably well. And congratulations to them. Uh, I had a very good season with my under-12s, and that is all I really can offer you. Beetle Park, under-12s, the 1979-1980 season. We played 10, won 10, and during the course of those 10 matches, I scored 45 tries. <laughs> yes. But then when you're playing under 12s rugby and you're six foot five, <laughs> you should really, shouldn't you? It is a ridiculous sport to play when you're playing against Lilliputians. It's so funny. But what you guys are planning to do, to be, as is explained to me, the very best of the amateur level of rugby, is a phenomenal step. It's a huge, huge dream, which is going to become reality without a doubt. To have that base that you can operate from is phenomenal because my experience of British rugby, world rugby, is it doesn't matter how junior the rugby club is, somewhere there is a base. Somewhere there is a home to operate from, full of stolen gear from other rugby clubs. <laughs> When you have that base, when you have absolute enthusiasts running it, the players are important, yes, but it's what happens behind those players to make sure that the pitches are marked, the shirts are tidy, the food's on the tables after the match, the beer's flowing behind the bar, the buses are there on time, the kids turn up on a Sunday for the mini rugby. That is the heartbeat of your rugby club, and more importantly, that is the heartbeat of rugby. That's where we all started, and that's where, once the glittering lights switch off, and Vicky no longer knows who the f*** you are, <laughs> that is where we all return to. We all drift back to our junior and our local clubs, and it is the heartbeat of the game, and that is why I wish you the very best with your plans and your dreams. I'm sure it will be a huge success. Thank you very much indeed for inviting me along. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much.